And we're going to be talking about the ability of Boyum's Usability Pack to uh, help us do some things that uh, many people who are running the SQL database aren't really familiar with, and that's that it has the ability to produce KBIs and dashboards in the SQL database that are at least a comparable deliverable to what we have in the HANA database. Uh, that's really the intention today is to show you what's possible. You may not know that uh, probably 70% or more of all Vision 33 SAP Business One customers have Voyam IT's usability pack and uh, possess this capability. It might not be turned on or developed, uh, but we're gonna show you today some intro stuff. And from there, you can probably make an impact on uh, your organization. Well, thank you for that marvelous introduction. Appreciate uh, the opportunity to talk a little bit about the Boyum B1 Usability um, Packages dashboards. We're very excited about this uh, capability that comes with uh, B1 Up. And um, like to give uh, everybody a quick little um, primer on, on how this all works. I'll be showing a combination of what we call out of the box dashboards. These are dashboards that come as examples. And I'm going to show you a few pieces that I've actually written myself, mainly to kind of um, give you the sense that if you've got data from an add on or from other sources, or if you look at SAP data in a way that our standard dashboards don't really um, take into account, you can modify these dashboards. Uh, so that they work very well in your own environment. Create your, your own new dashboards, uh, create your own content as you see fit. So with that said, um, I'd like to introduce you to my SAP environment. Um, as you guys can see, I am running um, uh, the SAP 9.3 on a SQL Server environment. Um, and we are running the latest version of the B1 usability package. So over here is our standard SAP menu. You'll probably be familiar with that. And on the right are our dashboard panels. So here I'm in the sales dashboard at the top and I can switch over to finance or purchasing services or the um, perhaps the dashboard that I created myself or one I put together for our Produmex WMS package. Let's take a look at this example. In the last 12 months, this panel shows me that um, April was a really, really good month for us and May was okay, but boy, it's been pretty quiet um, outside of that. So we're really gonna have to look at our uh, sales and profitability situation uh, for this year, because it's not looking all that great. To break that down by um, item group, We've got two items that really came into play here and our JB printers made up about 16%. Everything else was our generic items group. So probably what that means is my data is not very well classified or categorized in my SAP item group uh, screen. Down here, we have another example just showing a grid where I'm looking at my top 10 customers year to date. And from here, I can see our friends at MaxiTech they're really our leaders here. They've been getting all the activity. I can drill from the dashboard content directly into your SAP business partner screen and then do all the SAP functions that we're used to on that screen. In the middle, we have a couple of other grids that show different types of breakdowns by customer group, by item group, by um, employee sales reps. So however you want to look at that data, that really is, is, is something that you go ahead and craft yourself. In the upper right, you've got something called common functions. And what's nice about this is that this is like your shortcuts. So if you didn't have your main menu active, you could launch various screens such as your item master directly from your common functions. And it would go ahead and um, uh, bring up those screens directly. So here you go actually brought up two of them. So it's just another way to quickly access um, any kind of screen that might be um, applicable in your SAP environment. The open items list, this is very similar to what you already have in the um, SAP um, cockpit, where it's listing all the different open um, AR documents or sales order documents or purchase order documents, whatever it might be. 
and you um, can go ahead and um, drill into any one of those documents on your open items list. And you can select any one of the um, uh, the SAP documents that might might be appropriate, AP invoices, for example, whatever it might be. And the system will go ahead and list all those documents as, as it finds them. We can go over here to our finance um, dashboard and we can also then see different types of presentations. In this case, we have a customer aging report, which is kind of nice. And we can go ahead and see that in a snapshot instead of having to run the AR aging report. You also have panels over here that give direct elements of information. Those of you who've worked in the HANA system have seen this kind of thing in the HANA dashboard directly. And here we can look at our credit notes and our various other um, metrics as we, um, as we define them. And these are all things that we've defined out of the box. You can define this to um, add whatever key piece of information might be appropriate. 